What's up guys, it's the Ohm Ninja Wang Avias and Super Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. And specifically, welcome to the Fight Like a Superhero YouTube series, a series where I take characters from all different types of media and break down their fighting styles so that you can learn how to fight like them if you wanted to. And today, considering the new movie just released, we're going to be breaking down the fighting style of Natasha Romanoff herself. Now, disclaimer. Some of you may remember that I've actually done this video once before, but I figured it's time to do it again because, well, how do I put this nicely? Listen, let me say something to you as a friend. You suck. So I figured now is literally the best time to talk about Black Widow because, you know, now she's kinda gay. And because I'm gonna be releasing a Black Widow short very soon, like like next week or so. So stay tuned for that. self promo the most shameless of plugs. Now, just before we get started, I just wanna set some ground rules here. I wanna tell you that we are only analyzing Black Widow from the MCU, not necessarily her comic or cartoon fighting style. So all you guys getting ready, start typing in the comics, telling me how wrong I am. Chill. It's not the comics. I'm not talking about the comics. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Black Widow has an incredibly well-rounded fighting style. Probably one of the most well-rounded fighting styles in the MCU. It allows her to be someone who can hold her own with the best of the best, despite not having any godlike powers or rich boy armor. Even though she has normal durability and strength, Natasha is highly adaptable and trained extensively in a variety of different fighting styles during her time in the Red Room. Pair that with her advanced skills and acrobatics and her speed and agility and she can stand toe to toe with a variety of insane opponents. From straight up super soldiers to Thanos' personal guard. Honestly, everyone left the fact that she went toe to toe against Proxima Midnight twice just slide. Like, that's next level and nobody talks about it. Oh my gosh, for real, it bothers me, but you know. We're gonna let that one go. She demonstrates proficiency in martial arts such as judo and jujitsu that focuses heavily on using your opponent's size and strength against them. A prime example of why you should fight smarter, not harder. We actually see her utilize these throws and grappling techniques in almost every fight she participates in throughout the entire MCU. Her background in acrobatics and ballet actually enhances these styles even further, allowing her to skillfully maneuver herself and her opponents into a much more advantageous situation. Constantly moving, leaping, and pivoting around her opponent's environment, never really allowing them to regain their footing and prepare for their next attack. Kinda like airbending. Now you know I had to find a way to bring Avatar into this. As far as her striking goes, she displays her skills in a variety of martial arts with heavy emphasis on both karate and Muay Thai. When striking, she's usually delivering precise blows to areas that destabilize and demobilize her opponents, allowing her to better utilize her grappling techniques. Black Widow is also skilled in a variety of weapons, with the dual batons and Glock 26s being her most primary used weapons. However, the list doesn't stop there. We've seen her use a wide variety of different guns, grapple hooks, knives, staffs, even an alien staff gun in the first Avengers, and she's even used Cap's shield a couple times. She also uses various types of other gadgets to enhance her hand-to-hand -hand combat style, seamlessly all flowing together to make it that much cooler and more effective. Most notably using her bite bracelets that send electrical shocks through her opponents. Shocks that are strong enough to slow down Black Panther, which, you know, is not said lightly. She also seems to possess a variety of different discs, such as the Taser Disc and Smoke Disc, both of which aid her in slowing down and disabling her opponents, giving her time to either finish the fight or get away, whichever one suits her plan best. Natasha masterfully employs her skills in each of these areas. Pairing this with her extreme resourcefulness and adaptability, she is potentially one of the most dangerous normal humans in existence. And I use normal lightly here. So in situations where most humans would never stand a chance in, Black Widow uses a vast arsenal of skills, weapons, and her top tier adaptability to come out on top of whatever fight she's in. 
Well, that's all I got for you guys today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like to let me know what you think of this video. Also, if there's a character you would like me to do in my next Fight Like video, uh, leave it down in the comment section down below. I don't always have time to answer all of you, but I love reading and getting those comments. Plus, it kind of helps out the channel, so if you want to support me in this channel, you know what to do. And lastly, of course, hit that bell so you get notified when my Black Widow short releases later this month. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.